I think the tech uh, part is embedded in the, the DNA of Karnataka. Uh, not from today, I would say for last hundred years. We are the second largest AI talent in the world, right? And India's largest. And there's a lot of info, uh, sorry, emphasis on GCCs, like mm. we've been talking about it. So why is it very crucial for, say, the AI ecosystem in particular? Karnataka has been the uh, capital of GCCs in India. We have almost 40% of market share and we're targeting to become 50%. They are the one which is going to be impacting the larger digital economy contribution as well. We have a mission of beyond Bangalore. Uh, and we say this very proudly because we believe that the, uh, the decentralization of economic growth uh, should happen. And every part of the state should be benefiting from the economic growth. And the next cluster will be Tumkur, the next cluster will be Shumaga. So we cover the entire state. Hello and welcome to Happy Lama 2025. I have with me Sanjeev Kumar Gupta, CEO of Karnataka Digital Economy Mission. Hello, sir. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, sir, to begin with, can you tell me how is Karnataka leveraging its strengths to foster AI and uh, you know digital economy mission that we have? Yeah, as I was you know talking in the morning itself about the tech is embedded in the DNA of Karnataka, and it's embedded not from today but for last I would say hundred years. In this 100 years, we have been leveraging tech to not only grow our economy, but also to attract large investments, creating more of employment opportunities, attract the best talent of India, maybe around the world as well, in Karnataka. So if you say that, today the world of deep tech is also been as a strength for us. Uh, a, the larger corporates which are leveraging the uh, AI in their businesses are creating an experiment innovations, product lines, solutioning from here. Not only this, there are large startup founders who are coming up and putting up an AI startup, you know, their own businesses and operations. And the third is the talent which is available here. We are the second largest AI talent in the world, Karnataka, right? And India's largest. But for that perspective, how do we create more strength, right? and the digital economy perspective to attract more large investments to grow the economy and the talent side. We're creating a lot of initiatives. For example, the CATS is one, right? The second one is the uh, art park that we've already created in partnership with the private industry as well. All these are examples where we are strengthening the digital economy. We are creating an ecosystem of the startups, larger corporates participating into that program, also providing a skills development program for you know, development of AI talent. Last year itself, in last two years or so, we have trained around 50,000 AI talent uh, here itself. And that's the reason that we find more. We have got into the partnership with some of the larger corporates uh, to have another 25,000 people trained into the AI. And, and also leveraging the governance side of it. So you're saying that, hey, how can a governance can also leverage in AI applications in the areas of, of healthcare, in the areas of you know, education, academic institutions, in the areas of traffic management. And we have great examples of this within the state itself. All right. And uh, you spoke about co-innovate program. So can you elaborate a bit on it and why is it important? First is that, what is the co-innovate program? The co-innovate program is when, let's say the GCCs or the larger corporates uh, are looking at creating in some sort of an AI applications or AI based product development into their own ecosystem. They can do it. They have their own resources. They have their own talent. They can definitely do it. But I think the time they have realized that there is a much faster version, much lesser version, much more talented version is available outside the premises of the corporates, which is in the field of the founders and startups. Uh, how we can bring these two parties together and start looking at a, your problem statement or your thinking around something can already, has already been solved by somebody else in some way start working together to co-innovate. And so the startups founders are getting now connected with these GCC leaders, with these larger corporates, and we become as a nail to bring them together. So that's where the co-innovate program starts, right? And I've seen a lot of examples uh, from these, uh, you know, segments like retail, segments like uh, automobile, uh, segments like pharmaceutical, uh, financial services. They, are, they want to find out where are those startups? Can we, work, can we work with them? And they do find a couple of them, but if there's a program which can help them to find out the right startups and partner with them and show them the success, uh, either go to the market together 
or uh, define the products for the next wave, etc., etc., are are the areas where this co innovate works. And there's a lot of info, uh, sorry, emphasis on GCCs, like mm. we've been talking about it. So why is it very crucial for, say, the AI ecosystem in particular? Um, GCCs, fortunately, Karnataka has been the uh, capital of GCCs in India. We have almost 40% of market share and we're targeting to become 50%. We have more than, you know, the 50% when I say of 1,700, that means six 700 we already have. We're looking at 500 more GCCs to come to in next uh, five years to us. And we're working on that. Why GCC is important? Because they are the one which is going to be impacting the larger digital economy contribution as well. Uh, A, B is the global companies are now driving their innovation from India. And who in the India perspective who can support from an innovation perspective to those global companies and the GCCs? Karnataka. Now in that, if we are not prepared to support them by enhancing more center of excellence, by bringing the right quality talent for them, by the startups which are working on those fields. If we do not bring this ecosystem more deeper and more bigger, then the attraction power of the GCs will go down. Because for them, now the business is how fast they can use these AI and deep tech for their clients, for the markets around the world. And the powerhouse becomes the GCC. So innovation happens here. So for us, A, the GCCs, their contribution to the digital economy is important. B, the GCCs serving the global market leaders through innovation is important for us. And the fourth important point is with this, our own talents, the IPs of new products of development, can we look at the, the India becomes the hub of the world's AI or a deep tech innovations going forward. And I think that's where Kanaraka comes to play. Got it. And then factors like say, oh, they talk about the narrative of how traffic is a problem, infrastructure is a problem. So do these things cause some kind of detriment to companies kind of setting up in, say, Bangalore? Ma'am, this word has been uh, unnecessarily been, uh, you know, sentimentally used by various other, uh, you know, competitive uh, regions of, the, of India as well as other part of the world. But to be very frank, uh, you know, these problems are a problem of urbanization everywhere around the world. What we're looking at is that how do we create an innovation from us which can help this urban problems globally. For example, we uh, worked with a startup founder to find out, hey, can we have an intelligent signal system using an AI? And we can see a pilot here. We saw the pilot. 18% of the traffic congestion went down. Now, if I use this, now use cases of this can be used around the world. Right? So, my suggestion is that, hey, don't go into those stuff. Go into the part that what we are doing it in terms of finding those innovative solutions to solve the urban problems around the world. Today it is traffic, tomorrow it could be the water, tomorrow something else. And we would like to contribute to our solutioning mode as like a powerhouse from Karnataka to the urban problems of the world. Guys, and then one last question. So we're also going beyond uh, Bangalore, right? Mission beyond yeah. Bangalore. So these four uh, cities that you've identified. So is Kalaburgi uh, the recent one and and can you tell me why we chose that particular location? What we've done is, first of all, is we have a mission of beyond Bangalore. Uh, and we say this very proudly because we believe that the, uh, the decentralization of economic growth uh, should happen. Yeah. And every part of the state should be benefiting from the economic growth, uh, which creates more employment, which creates more uh, investments uh, and research. Uh, having said this, how do we can do this? So what we said, let's divide the state into outside Bangalore in six important clusters. So we divided six clusters. So one is the Meshuru cluster, Mangluru cluster, Hubli Belgao Dharwad cluster, Kalburgi cluster, uh, Tumkur cluster, and Shumoga cluster. So these are the six clusters. We started with the three clusters uh, in the beginning, almost three years back, which is Meshur, Mangluru, and Hubli Belgao Dharwad. The fourth cluster is a Kalburgi. And the next cluster will be Tumkur. The next cluster will be Shumoga. So we cover entire state. It's not about we picked up, it's a cluster. And then the region, we need to find out their strengths, their capabilities, the talent which is available there, the industry ecosystem there. And then we start putting up a vision and a strategy document to say, how do we enhance this to the next level, right? And that's where the every partner comes into play. The industry comes joins us, the academic institution joins us, the think tanks join us, the government joins with them. And all of us work together to design this strategy and then execute the strategy again in partnership to see the growth of the cluster going up. And we see these results. We have seen in Mesur, we have seen in Mangalore, we have seen in Publi uh, Bilgaon, Harvard. I'm pretty confident you will see a better results 
in in a year period of time in uh, in kalburgi and the other clusters as well perfect thank you so much sanjeev for your time it's been very lovely talking to you thank you ma'am